Hey guys, Raylines here. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own custom Twitch offline banner in under two minutes without Photoshop. To do this, we're, go we're going to be using a website called canva.com. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I've never been in contact with them, but I just stumbled across this website recently and I found it very, um, very helpful. Especially for those of you who are not very experienced in graphic design yourselves and wouldn't be able to operate a program such as Photoshop. So to do this, it's very quick and simple. So you do need to sign up to the website, but they don't make this a very hassle-filled process. It's actually very straightforward. You throw in your email and a password and you just click sign up and instantly you get access to everything you need to do this. So it'll only take a few seconds. So once you've signed up, you are greeted by a page like this. So up the top left, just click create a design. Now there is a large portfolio of choices to choose from, um, depending on what type of graphic you want to create. So that is also a very helpful feature. Down here under social media and email headers, you can see Twitch banner. So we're just going to click in here. Now we're not going to get too creative with this today. We're just going to use their basic templates because they do the job and you don't really need much um, with this. You just need a quick and simple background that gets straight to the point. Now you can make it more personal by adding in your own images. Down here you have the option to upload your own images and use them. Here you can choose text. We'll get into that in a minute. So to start off, um, on the left you can scroll to a large arsenal of different choices for your offline banner. Um, some of these you do have to pay for, but to avoid this, they do not force you to pay for anything. It's actually very handy. I admire them for this. They give you plenty of free options. Down the bottom right of each one, it'll have the, um, it'll have the text saying free if it's a free choice. So you can scroll through these, there's loads of very, very nice um, different designs, very creative. But to get straight into it, we're going to pick the first choice, because actually, quite frankly, I think it's one of the best. And it's free. So click on that, and straight away over here on our canvas, you can see that that is um, selected. And everything here now is instantly customizable, so you can personalize this in any way you'd like. So it's pretty much done for us already, but um, we want to change this Am Am Marina. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but just say we want to change that. So my channel is called Ray Lines, so I'm going to change the Ray Lines. And we'll just throw space in there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, instantly, what more do you need? That is what you want for a, a Twitch um, offline banner. You can customize it loads more, and I'll go through it really quick now. But straight away, within two minutes, you have your own offline custom Twitch banner that actually has your name incorporated into it. Down below you can add in all your social links and whatever you'd like. You can add in text and shapes and everything. So in elements here, once you've done that, you can click on these right now. Say you don't like these circles, you can just click the delete button and they're gone. So it's that simple. You click, drag and delete. So I'm just going to undo that because I'm just going to leave them in for the purposes of this tutorial. So here you have loads of options and uh, they're actually very useful. Um, you can add in shapes, lines, illustrations, icons, charts, anything you want. So just say shapes if we wanted to add in something random like just say we said okay I want a I want a star in the top right corner then we'll just add that in there and scale it down to size and just say we're gonna leave it next to we're gonna put a star at each side of the opening bit of text so we want we want a little star here and just say we're happy with that now oh that looks good I'm happy with that then we're just gonna go up here click copy and move it over here and just say we're happy with that now we're like oh I actually like the way that looks so now Right there, you've just customized it and made it a bit more unique to the way you want it. So you can click, drag, it's very simple. Down here, then you can click into text and it gives you a large variety of fonts to choose from. Yet again, they have the, the word free next to them if they're free, but they actually give you a large, large range of free fonts. So this impressed me even more. Um, other websites similar to this I've checked out, they actually really milk you for money. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And down here, you can click background and you can pick a background color or a background pattern if you're not liking the look of this. And then uploads, if you want to upload, I just put in some uh, Fortnite ones because I was playing around with it recently. But I just say now, I said, okay, it's a Fortnite offline banner. I want to have this image in it. So I download this from Google Images. It's just a PNG of one of the characters within Fortnite. Fortnite is an online battle royale game. So if you're not familiar with it, it's just a, it's a video game and this is a character within it. So just say you want to put that within it. Just click and drag and let go. And right now, there it is. So that could just be added straight into your offline banner. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Now, I know this tutorial was longer than two minutes, but once you watch the tutorial, you'll be able to create whatever you'd like within two minutes. So yeah, it's that simple. And then all you have to do is top right corner, download PNG, probably the best bet. 
So you go up PNG and then you just click download and it'll start downloading. So that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to finish it up there. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. There will be many more on the way. So uh, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload again. Um, and as for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.